To most people, power lasts five to 10 seconds and it's over. In my world, guys pull long grades with heavy loads. That requires an efficient intercooler that has massive cooling capacity and very little boost pressure loss. Our competition sells intercoolers based mainly on flow bench numbers and half-assed short duration dyno sweeps. The gold standard is full power, long duration testing with the ability to measure the intercooler efficiency on the road. A boost gauge can't read that because it doesn't know a damn thing about heat. What will tell you about heat is manifold air density. This is a welded, sealed cubic foot of air. There's no air going in, there's no air coming out. We've heated it using this hot plate to duplicate a turbo, building some heat in the intake manifold and making some boost. So let's intercool it. Heat's off. Keep your eyes on the eye dash as the temp and boost drop. All right, the manifold air density is still 73.2 pounds per thousand cubic feet. We had 3.3 pounds of boost when we started and the temp was 188 degrees. Now the boost is zero and the temp is 67 degrees. But the air density is still the same, so the boost lied to us. You can increase boost and see no increase in air density. Therefore, your boost gauge is bogus.